Hey, hey. Hey, Edgar. What do you think of Goss being the next Prime frame? Oh, is that the next Prime? Thanks for your Gaspacho. I didn't see that. Well, that's cool. Thanks for the resub, Hazel. And Leon. You seen that AI vampire game? AI vampire game. No, what is that? Is it the voice activated AI vampire game? I'll look at that later. <clears throat> Thanks to the resub Frizzy. And Cartel, Cav, Thornberry, and Thornberry. Favorite Jujutsu Kaisen character? Toto. Thanks for the gift sub, Dirty Dan. Thanks for the resub, Vengeful. Yeah, I made a whole video on the, the Twitch um, interview with Dan. As I've speculated, Prime subs are a thing of the past pretty soon. Thanks to Prime Mick, at least in their current format. Check out the American Dialect Society 2023 Word of the Year. Word of the Year. I'm going to take a guess. It's clout. Oh, in shitification. Is this a real thing? 2023 Word of the Year is in shitification. Huh. I'm assuming that doesn't refer to, like, frequency of its usage, because I've never seen that. It's a cool word, though. Things are some tomb and war crime in the Prime Zoo. And the membership. Echo. And five gift subs cartel. Thank you for that. I did not watch the new episode, or the first episode of Solo Leveling yet. Suicide Squad is the best game of this year. If Suicide Squad comes out and it's anything beyond dog shit, I will be stunned. No, I don't think I've seen that butter. Any more projects planned for God Slapper Plague Seeker? Lots, yeah. Issue 5 is coming out very soon, and then issue 1 for Plague Seeker is next month. And yeah, of course, I'll play the new Suicide Squad game. Thanks to Membership Smiley. And I'm not sure if I'll do that fade. Thanks to the Prime Venom and Tier 1 Phallic. And the Membership Obese. What anime do you think has the worst villains? I have to really think about it. Thanks, Towley. And I've never watched that show, Sila. Thanks to the membership, Remedy. Appreciate it. Thank you, dude, man. Thanks to the membership, Drew. Did you see that not suitable for work Twitter clip animation of the YouTuber Verbalace and Charlie from Hasbin Hotel where he spent 50k on it? Apparently it even ruined his channel. I saw a lot of people talking about some kind of clip from Has Been, but I didn't look into it. Is that what it is? Thanks, Membership Prodigy. The Resub Dankweed and the Prime Kazar. And Tier 1 In Your Bish. And the Prime Nazgul. And the Resub Pug.
What do you think about people believing there were aliens at this Florida mall because of the amount of cop cars? Well, we went over that already. We talked at length about it. Very fun but sad that people actually believe it. It's the Prime Bazaku. You gonna stream the new Suicide Squad game? Yep. Like I said, I'm expecting it to be terrible, but we'll see. OMG that not suitable for work animation was a very cringe porn music video featuring his self insert and yeah he spent 50k on it. Alright I gotta look at it. A $50,000 porn music video commission is wild. Verbalace spent 50k on a softcore animation featuring Charlie from Hasman Hotel and goes bankrupt. Okay, that is fucking awesome. Look, I'm looking at it right now. It looks wild. Let me see it. I'm not signed in. Hold on. Is it at least high quality? It doesn't it doesn't seem like it's 50k worth here of porn. And thanks, Petroleum. Like, I feel like for 50k, you could have commissioned some far better action here. Sorry, now I'm just watching porn. <laughs> just give me a second. Though it's not pornographic at all yet. Thanks to the resub, Carlos. Oh. Now I see. Man, $50,000 and no nudity at all? What a waste! <laughs> what the fuck? Tragic. You see, oh yeah, we talked about the Reese's lawsuit a while back. Thanks to Reese, Elky. You gonna play Power World? Of course I will. Hey, boom. And yeah, I'm very familiar with telephone booth boxing. I've also heard many point. I've heard many point out there are traced frames in the animation. Oh God, he got scammed. I can check it out, Silas. I've never even actually heard of it. And thank you. Uh, cathonic. You hear about the 10-foot alien spotted in Brazil that turned out to be an Italian basketball player. Things are getting crazy. Nice. We finished Lies of P two days ago. Well, I guess technically yesterday. Thanks, Lucas. Thanks for the membership, Michael. <clears throat> yeah, I made a whole video on the YouTube poop prankster earlier. Glad he got arrested. Bro really went bankrupt for an animation that doesn't even have nudity. I know. I, I know. No, I don't know what that is, AD. And thanks, Doodle. And thanks, Bradley. Chase is crazy, he's pulling GTA strats. There was a chase yesterday that ended with the cop, or I think it was yesterday, ended with a cop pit maneuvering a car into a pedestrian. Just an extremely reckless pit maneuver. Thanks to tier one kittles.
You see, your Hunger Games co-star Josh Hutcherson is addicted to Fortnite and staring at walls. Hey, I'm always down to run it with him if he wants to do it for old time's sake. And I'm not sure, Towley. I don't think there is one. Did the person die? No. The person that got hit with the pit maneuver, like the pedestrian, did not die. From what I read, they actually got up and only had, like, scrapes. You see Taylor Swift playing Dazzler for Deadpool 3. <laughs> I heard the rumors. I don't know if it's true or not. It's kind of cool, I guess. Thanks, Risa Retribution. Thanks, Aza. Did the pit maneuver at least work? No, I mean, technically yes, but the car was completely stopped. Here, I can't show you the actual pit maneuver because someone gets hit, but the car was completely stopped. Let me pull up the story real quick. It was a frightening chase. Let me just... Okay, hold on. Let me make sure they don't show the hit here. Again, they were fine, but still, I think Twitch or YouTube might have an issue showing that. But here. The car was... <laughs> the, the chase was pretty much over right here. And then he comes, fucking officer, officer action here comes, pit maneuvers and blasts the car into this lady and sends her flying. So uh, technically the pit maneuver did... Like, he executed it on a stationary vehicle. Cop thought he was getting a medal for that shit. <laughs> yeah. He's like, this is my moment. <laughs> Just because I really enjoy it, Tilly. Can you even call it a pit maneuver? Yeah, I don't know. It's something entirely different. Thanks, membership, Noah. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of those, Noah. There's one in the States, too, that teach dogs how to drive. And I did, Lucifer, I saw. Is she okay? Apparently, yeah, she even did an interview. It looks like. Which I'm shocked. Because even if she is okay, she could have got a massive payday out of that if she just hammed it up a bit. Like, oh no! Why? Why would the officer do this? Like, it... She could have absolutely got money from that because that is an that is entirely on the officer. Probably none of them, dog. And yeah, I saw some petroleum. She could still be hurt and not know it. Yeah, perhaps like adrenaline. That's very possible. Thanks to give sub case in. Was she in, like, a full-body cast during the interview, like the scammer in the Spongebob chocolate episode? No, but she should have been. Like, she took a hit. Is it Prime Goo Goo? I don't know how she wasn't injured. I have no idea. She is built different. We did a water tier list already. Did that a while back. Happy birthday, big booty. Thanks to Risa Blombat. Sparkling water tier list. Not a huge sparkling water guy. I get it. I just prefer normal water. I did not see that silent peanut butter. Mm. You see the Kai Sinat drama? Is it the Lil Nas X stuff? I, I can't believe that that's become a big deal. Like, that's like the oldest marketing strategy of all time. 
and it's working so well. I have to wonder if it's all manufactured. Like Lil Nas X is in on it, like subtly paying people to make it a big deal. Because I can't believe that it's become so controversial. It is legitimately like the oldest form of marketing. Through outrage, I guess. That's more what I mean. You ever heard of the haunted Ronald McDonald statue that scared a woman and killed her from a heart attack in Mexico? Jesus Christ, no, how long ago was that? Probably wouldn't play that, Preston. Probably couldn't play that on stream. And yeah, I heard about her passing away, Chaos. That was very sad. Did people forget that Kanye called himself Yeezus? And that wasn't an issue? Yeah, I really just feel like... It has to be artificial right now. Like, I, I just can't imagine it's genuine. Thanks to Tier 1 Bojack and the gift sub, Big Booty. Like, I even remember when Kanye said he should be in the Bible. And that wasn't a problem. People didn't blow that shit way out of proportion or anything. And that's like one of the most blasphemous things you could be saying. Like, calling yourself God and all of that. Thanks to Tin, Matt. Yeah, I just don't believe it's real. I think all that outrage is fake. <clears throat> you see the Capcom DRM drama? Adding DRM to older games to prevent mods. Oh, no, I did not see that. That sucks. Oh, thank you for the huge drop, Allison. Good to see you again. You see all the manatees hanging out at Three Sisters? I did not. And thank you, Matt. Let me see. Fucking love manatees. At Three, Chris at three Sisters Crystal River? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> There's so many. What are they doing here? Looks like when the nematodes arrive at the Krusty Krab. Why are they all congested? Did someone throw a, a head of cabbage? And also, why is this guy all alone? What'd he do wrong? Is this the Redditor of the group or something? That's cute though. I fucking love manatees. I think they're adorable. Hey, Dark. And that's the first I've heard of that lawsuit, Nadim. Thanks to the resub, Visper. And thanks to the Prime Soapy. Yeah, we talked about the tiny wiener bass pro shop guy when it happened. And of course I've been to Naples. I don't really like going to Naples, but I've been. Thanks to the membership map. Hmm. You ever played the claw machine? I do play it pretty often, actually. Thanks to the membership Akira. Well, I'm exaggerating pretty often. <laughs> I do play it, but I, I guess not pretty often. You ever see the anime Daltanius? Never even heard of it. And no, I didn't see that Insider Edition story, Mac. You still helping people for New Year? Yep. Uh, probably do another one of those giveaway streams in two days, I think, is when the Twitch money comes through. So I'll probably do another one of those in two days-ish. Trying to think of like a more fun way of doing it instead of just going through like documents silently and then reading them out. Trying to think of making it, trying to find ways to make it more interactive and more exciting. And yeah, I saw the World of the Worlds survival trailer. 
Links to membership, Petroleum. Links to resub CQ. Or no, it wasn't a trailer, it was like a teaser. I think it was the one at the Gamescom. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Kyle. 1v1s for a gift. Uh, but then that only includes people that have the game. Most anticipated release this year for games is Black Myth Wukong. For movies, I don't know what's coming out. Talent show? There's only so many talents you can do just through audio. I wouldn't want to do video because I don't want someone to flop their meat out or something. Have you ever swam with manatees before? No. Thanks to Tier 1 Sun Moon the Resub Lord Bend. Thanks, John. Depends, Matt. It's all over the place. Pal World early release is soon. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot they're doing early release. I will be playing it. You see Smite 2 is coming out. I did. I, I'm always rooting for Smite. But I am so fucking tired of this trend of... Like, basically doing a visual overhaul and calling it a sequel. Now, granted, to Smite's credit, it looks like they're doing more than just that. It looks like they're completely rebuilding it on Unreal 5. But even still, it's not a sequel, really. Thanks a membership, Sapphire. But I'm rooting for it. I'll give it a whirl for sure, but I just, I'm very tired of games calling the new thing, the sequel, when it's still the same base game. Yeah, I know Salty, but they're, they go way back. We talked about that on the podcast before. Thanks, C. William. Yeah, I saw the Ecuador stuff with the news station. They talk about a lot more. Yeah, I know. I was going through some of their keynote. I know it's more than just that, but at the end of the day, it's still not a sequel. <laughs> it's it's still the same game, but everything upgraded, like visuals. And I know they've changed out the versatility of builds and what you can buy for the gods and all that. But I'm, I'm, it's it's still not a sequel. That's like League of Legends when they introduced, you know, a new mechanic calling it League of Legends Two. Or when they changed the Rift, like, five years ago. Completely redesigned the entire Rift, calling it League of Legends 2. There's the Prime bit. I'd be down, JPEG. Nice the resub fuzzball. They just redesigned it again. League, League, Jesus. League redesigned the Rift again. Cool. Thanks for five gifted members, Matt. Appreciate the generosity. No, I haven't watched Solo Leveling yet. And yeah, we just talked about that guy who spent 50k making a horny uh, has-been hotel self-insert video. You could do a Kahoot game show and could do prizes for top contestants. Yeah, but then that would only be for... How many people can win in Kahoot? It's been so fucking long. I'd want it to be spread out for a lot of people. I'm not trying to make it a competition. Thanks to Resub Harbin. I did not see that Maya. I didn't watch the Bulls game. That's an old one unknown. The stolen luggage prankster. Yeah. That was like a year or two ago. And no idea, Steric. We'll see.
to maybe a raffle? No, like I said, I'm trying to think of something a little more interactive and exciting. I'll keep brainstorming on it. But I want to make sure I can, like, spread it out across, like, a lot of people like I have been. I did not see the Beekeeper movie. I don't know if I will. I heard it was like an homage to older action movies. I haven't heard bad things about it, per se. Thanks, Resub Floppy. Which is kind of why I'm not really interested in seeing it. I'd be more enticed if it was like legitimately trash. Or extremely good. Everything I'm seeing is like neutral. You see Gordon Ramsay finally talked about a shitty grilled cheese he made a few days ago on Mythical Kitchen. Thanks, Resub Clutch. You mean like his infamous shitty grilled cheese? The one that he cooked in a fucking fireplace? Thanks to the membership, Kalari. And Levi. Because if so, I'm going to have to check that out. You should check Grips. It might be worth something. Yeah, new Monster Hunter's cool. Thanks, Sensational. Have you heard of the seamless co-op for Elden Ring? I have, I just haven't played it. The one where the cheese didn't melt? Yeah, this one. It is actually the single worst grilled cheese ever made. And it's because he, for some reason he thought it'd be quirky to cook it in the fucking fireplace. Obviously it doesn't get hot enough and he chose a really bad cheese that doesn't really melt that well for this. So it ends up just being cold cheese on bread. I'm very... I, I, I want to know what he says about it. I'm going to have to check out that Mythical Kitchen episode. I like Gordon Ramsay, but this one, even me, I was like, that's not really good. An IRL Battle Royale. Jesus Christ. Thanks, Hunk. And I did not see... Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I did I did see that storm. I forgot that name, but I did see that. We talked about it. And I don't know too much about Ready or Not, just that it looks fun. I hope you have a good day at work, Jack. What do the comments say? Oh, he got clowned on for this. Like, endlessly. My man really managed to cook a medium-rare grilled cheese. <laughs> it's absolutely wild that he can look at solid cheese and call it beautifully melted. For years, he called people an idiot sandwich. Now he actually showed the world how to make one. All right, that's fire. I like that one a lot. I did actually, Ant. I appreciate that. I didn't watch them on stream or anything, but I don't really do that. But I did check them out. And maybe that's not a bad idea for him. He blamed someone else for the grilled cheese. Don't spoil it. Don't don't fucking spoil it. You gonna stream the Apex? Oh yeah, we will be. Oh my god, our, our squad is so fucking good. I'm so excited. Even with all the Visa debauchery... All that aside, our team is fucking nasty. I can't wait for this season. Here. Here's the most recent results. Waltzy posted them, so I got to see them earlier. They were also contested, too, and still squeaked out an 86-point fucking heater. I appreciate it, Junes. I hope everything's okay. Thank you for that, Retro. Thanks the Prime Pilot. Thanks the Resub Crazy. I 
Hi, Jaden. To win the prize, they'll have to wrestle you in the MWL ring. Everyone would win, yeah. Thanks for the gift, Nathan. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you talked about this before, but what do you think about Halo show and it having a season two? Man, the Halo season one, abominable. But as I said, the last episode showed signs of life. So if Halo 2 can just take that and forget everything that came before the last episode, I think there's a chance that it's good. But I'm not optimistic. Makes the membership denied. What is this? It'll probably still be bad, but the trailer the other day looks significantly better than season one. Did they release a new trailer? Thanks, a tier one user. Yeah, like two days ago. I'll have to check it out. One day I will, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone quitting YouTube? I talked about that in a video a couple days ago. I really think it's just people like Tom Scott, like Matt Pat, have been grinding for so long. And just like any other job at some point, retired, they want to retire and they have the means to do so. So they take a more passive role. Spend more time with their family. Get out of the, get out of the cycle. I appreciate that. Thanks, Jesus. And yeah, I've played it. What will you do when you retire? I don't know, man. I really don't have any plans of stopping, because this is like the most fun I have. So I, I don't know what I'd do. Like, I don't have any plans of it. I know that channel, Gino, I think. And maybe Logan, depends on who's playing. He's a tier one, easy. Thanks for the five gifted members again, man. I appreciate it. The membership, Brianna. Oh, that's wholesome. Thanks, Brianna. Coach a basketball team for kids. <laughs> Sounds awful. And thanks, Divine. It's up on the second channel, Mirage. Yeah, I went over that quite a bit. Charlie just saving up so he can start his own anime studio. I'd still... I'd still want to keep doing all this, though. Like, even all the other shit, like, making comics and all of that, I'd still, like, I, I, it'd feel wrong to not be able to, or to not be making other shit, too. So, I don't know. Things are get so easy. How's Papa Moist project car coming going so far? Going pretty well. He's going over there in like a week to get more work done on it. Thanks for the gifted member, Bunny. <clears throat> Thanks for the membership, Mac. Did you ever want to produce a game under the Moist brand? 
not under the moist brand or anything, but I've had an unbelievably good idea for a game for so long. One day, it will come to fruition. Mark my words, one day. Thanks for give sub TJ. <clears throat> No, not the Rhythm Battle Royale. Please don't be a mobile game. No, 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 it's much more than that. No, 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 it's like a, it's like a game game. And I think it's a fucking banger. One day. Thanks to the membership, Nitro. You know you can now apply to drive the Wiener Mobile from Oscar Mayer. I'll submit an application. And we just talked about the Has Been Hotel 50k animation. Yeah, I just got away from police in a parking garage. Yeah, I heard. Oh, speaking of acting, I'm submitting for another role, so keep your fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, a resub, Nate. I'm going to dust it off. See if I can capture that silver screen magic once again. That would be pretty cool, denied. Thanks, a resub, Jim. Thanks to the membership. Obliv. I'm not sure what the next speedrun will be. I was gonna do Liza P, but I'm still waiting for it to get into the mid thirties. I do like the Liza P ending. So good. I thought that game was incredible. I'm not going to give away my game idea. You're not stealing it. Are there any games you haven't been able to beat and had to give up? There's never been a game that I failed to beat because it was too hard or anything like that. But there's plenty of games I've given up on because they're too miserably boring. And that's the first I've heard of that spook. Samurai Jack. That wasn't because it was too hard. Uh, granted, that's... Like, like release Samurai Jack was unbelievably difficult, but mainly because the game's dodge mechanic didn't work. But even that, I didn't get stuck or anything. I got really fucking bored of it. It was just a bad game. I hope you have a good day, pizza. What games were too boring? Like Saints Row Remake, shit like that. King Kong, Walking Dead Destinies. Absolutely Will Cup for Tekken 8. No, didn't Moist Meter at Aiden. Did you finish Halo 2 Lasso? Oh, good. Wait, that's a really good example. That is probably the only thing I quit because it was too hard. Halo 2 Lasso, you have to be a different breed to do. And no, never thought about doing that plague. You were stuck on the same boss fight in Samurai Jack for nearly two hours. I remember it vividly. Then you should also remember that I beat it and then stopped right after that. Thanks to Prime Kaz. That game just didn't fucking work. <laughs> Samurai Jack was non-functional. Good point, Caleb. You heard about the alien jellyfish? Vaguely, I just didn't look into it. It seemed... It seemed misleading. There's a prime pog. I 
things a tier one water. Hey, good luck, Goofy. Links to the membership aspire. Links to the resub splayed. Do you play Call of Duty? No, not really. I used to. Links to the resub real. Not anymore though. And thanks, Ben. You watch the new Mean Girls? Is it out? Thought it came out next week. Oh no, it is out. It came out yesterday. I'll watch it. Is it bad? It's actually got decent reviews. It seemed like it wouldn't be very good. It's a musical. Oh. Jesus. Okay. Maybe I won't see it. Thanks to Prime Hermy. Gifted member Reen. I was really big into StarCraft 2 and Halo Wars when it comes to RTS, but beyond that, not really. It's not a Mean Girls remake, it's a Mean Girls spin-off, I think. Like uh. the resub sticks. Speaking of musicals, how do you feel about Joker 2 being a musical? Bad. I think that's awful. <laughs> like, I'm just not looking forward to that. And I did like the original Mean Girls when I was young. So Wubby found some weird Twitch-owned verified channels. Check out Twitch Media 19. Most of the chat is Wubby's raiding there. There are tons of them and they're showing crappy movies. Is it like an interesting rabbit hole he stumbled upon? He had some super interesting shitty movies. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you have the balls to take back your take on meta yet and admit their comeback was epic? <laughs> I, I think you're making a meme, but that's fire. You did just remind me, what's meta up to these days? Instagram cuts technical program. That's all that comes up right now. They cut 60 jobs. Sounds like they're making quite the comeback. Anything new from the metaverse? Zuckerberg got mad at a wedding over avatar mockery. Mark Zuckerberg pivots to AI from metaverse. Yeah, not a whole lot here. Thanks, Resub Skyrat. You see Star Citizen release a 48k Starship bundle. I swear they're secretly building the Death Star. That was a mistake, wasn't it? It's a prime flapjack. I saw that like a week ago, but I thought they retracted that saying it was like a error. It's a five gifted members, Matt. Let me see.
and thanks to the membership goat. And yeah, I'm gonna be play, playing Tekken 8 when it comes out. Yeah. Metal always bans Star Wars or Spider-Man impersonators. Weird. No, it looks like this is real. A forty-eight thousand dollars ship bundle, but only for players who have already spent ten k. Oh man! <laughs> All of those players who haven't spent ten k that would have loved to spend forty-eight k. I don't know what you're talking about, WIP, but you just donating $10 to talk shit, I guess. Your money, you can spend it how you want. That's fine, brother. You ever read the 20th Century Boys? I have not. And yeah, I don't like the new Discord update. I think it sucks ass. Oh my god, thank you for the 20 gifted members, man. I appreciate the generosity. Really appreciate it, goddamn, man. Hope you're having a great start to your new year. Ahead of all the others, this definitive armada is an equal match to the noble title of Legatus Navium. The Legatus 2953 item page reads, comprised of over 175 vessels from every manufacturer of note, this perfect collection, including all ships released and concepted through 2953, empowers every fleet commander to forge a lasting legacy, leading humanity towards a brighter future. And you just can't put a price tag on that. Sounds worth to me. You're not going to see any alligators in Florida that will attack you. They keep to themselves. Thanks to Tier 1, Dr. Dino. Joker 2 is not a musical. The whole thing was taken out of context. Oh, well, that's good then. Thanks to Gifted Member Riz. And that's so sweet. Thank you, Matt. I'm sure they'll sell a few of these bundles, and that's all they need. Just a couple whales. And of course, I've watched it, Yosuke. You see in the awful Meta Horizon ads about being able to watch an upcoming wrestling tournament in the metaverse? Can't say I've seen that. That sounds fire, though. I bet those commercials go hard. Thanks to membership, Tiffany. It's literally shaped like a whale. Look at it. Is it in this video? No, this is just like a full coverage. Is it in this one? That was so okay. What's your favorite villain in a movie or show? That's tough. I'm not sure. That's a hard one to pick a favorite on off rip. Is it? Thanks, Sean. Thanks for a long time watching. And thanks for the membership, Ghost. You're sub Jeef and like you. Can't do that on stream, Nanny. Did you see Nick's Not Green apology video? I did not. I saw it got uploaded though. I saw some people talking about it on Twitter, but I didn't watch it. I just don't even know what the situation was. I know it has to do with like his handling of Super Mega and all of that, but I didn't keep up with what he was doing, so I really don't know. Thanks, Angelica, and thanks for the bits, Garbuncle. Hope you have a great New Year's in. Oh yeah, and I love Glorb, so I've seen quite a few things similar to Glorb. I've not heard of Perry though, Benjamin. Yeah, I can check it out, Goofy. Not on stream though.
And you see the jellyfish UFO footage. I'm gonna have to look up this jellyfish shit. There's a bunch of baloney. <clears throat> Well, I appreciate that, Matt. I, I don't think you're weird. Kind of looks like that droid from uh, Star Wars. The one that, like, is on the Hoth and all that. Can't remember what the name of that model is. It's a probe droid? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's kind of what it looks like. So what's the explanation here? Corbell, who was reported on UFOs for years, said the object moved through a sensitive military installation and over a body of water where it eventually submerged. After around 17 minutes, Corbell said the UAP re-emerged from the water and flew suddenly at a speed far more rapid than what technology could capture on camera. This UAP of unknown origin displayed transmedium capabilities. The origin, intent, and capability of the anomalous aerial vehicle remains unknown. Thanks, membership, Jake. Oh, sweet. Well, thanks, Cor. Thanks to the membership weeb. <clears throat> oh, he's got another one. Corbell also shared a still from a video Thursday showing a filmed object called the Chandelier UAP. Wow, wow, wow. I guess we'll wait and see. Rare UAP type. Yeah. Go for Titty Milk Key. Or Lean. Either one of those. Those are my two favorite. Gonna play the Elden Ring DLC? Yep. He's a membership gesture. Oh, that was wholesome. Thanks, Jason. Oh, thank you for the 50, Mario. Good to see you again. I haven't watched it yet, but I have it pulled up in a tab, Mario. I appreciate you sending that. I'll definitely check it out. Was your hand tattoo sore? Yeah, all tattoos get sore. That one got especially itchy. Lady harasses woman through ring doorbell and flashes the end. I don't think I can post the link. Well, I, I also can't watch that if she flashes her titties at the ring doorbell. Things the resub king. Hey, happy birthday, Noah. I don't know if I'll see the beekeeper yet. I'm undecided. I don't think so. Thanks, load. That's awesome. Thanks, Doodle. And thanks, Arisa Falcorino. What's Charles Sr. said about the UAPs? 
Nothing. He he is very skeptical on all like the new alien sightings that come out, especially like the alien aircraft or the alien shit in Miami and all that. My dad's very much on like I'll put in air quotes official alien stuff. All the other stuff he thinks is a bunch of baloney. Thanks for you, Sub Smokey. Even still, Trinity, that's usually frowned upon. Just send it to me on Twitter, though, and I can scrub through it and see. You ever heard of the big rip to the idea that the universe could tear itself apart in a moment that everything from galaxies, stars, planets, and individual atoms, even time itself, are torn to shreds? No, that's a cool idea. Yeah, I heard Iron Claw's great. Things the Prime Abe. Didn't he literally say the pyramids of... Oh, yeah. That is that is one thing my dad will not budge on. And no, I haven't watched Aqua Teen in years. My dad firmly believes that ancient humans were not, tech, were not capable of building the pyramids. And I was actually... I went over to their house today to eat. Thanks to the membership, Jesus. And we actually got into a conversation about it again. He is so fucking passionate about it. And I tried to explain to him, like, some of the methods that a lot of scholars, like speculate they likely used back then and he's just like nope they were too stupid well he never really says they were too stupid he's like nope they didn't have the technology they didn't know how to do that and then he's like well then how do you explain that they're all perfectly aligned with orion's belt and then i had to pull up that they're not they're not actually aligned with orion's belt he's like that's wrong <laughs> i was like well, no they're, they're not though he's like okay well they're aligned with these stars then i was like yeah that's possible it's just a coincidence though it's like these are random stars like, of course they're going to align with something. There's fucking billions of stars. But they quite literally did have the technology to do so. I know, and that's what I keep trying to tell him, but he, he just doesn't think so. He doesn't believe that A, they could make the cuts that they did on the material that they used, and B, that they could transport, lift, and set up objects that heavy back then. I did not hear about that panned. Good to see you though. I hope you're doing well. He's a prime Dylan. 99% aligned with True North though. And I looked that up because he did bring that up as well. How they're all like aligned in a similar orientation. He's like, well, how could they have possibly done that? So I looked it up and I actually read something from Science Alert in 2022 that offered a really interesting theory on the tools they used and why things would line up that way based on what they had at their disposal. And I forgot what it was called. I think it was called like a Gamonin or some shit like that. I can't remember. But he really believes that it was the aliens doing it. And when I ask him why, he says, to leave us a message that they were here. And I was like, well, if they wanted to leave us a message that they were here, they could have done a much more effective job at conveying that as opposed to just dropping some fucking structures. Like, there's definitely easier ways of communicating. Thanks, Reset Anastasia. Anastasia. In tier one Zerbs. And the resub Kismet. What does he think about Stonehenge? I don't know. I've actually never asked him about Stonehenge. He doesn't think that has anything to do with the aliens, though. I know that much. Yeah, they're custom cheetah. Uh, Fable Frames is the one I used. If you put a tall enough stick in the ground on the solstice, the shadow will almost directly will almost directly be north south. They knew about that. They studied the sun pretty well. They thought it was a god. Yeah, I, I believe that was in the science alert article as well. Hope you enjoyed Code Geass. Thanks to Prime Forty Niner. In the membership anime. No, I didn't see that was trending again for save TF2. Is the bot problem back? Because they did fix it for a little bit. I 
thoughts on Joe Coy's situation at the Golden Globes? I wouldn't even call it a situation. It was just a situation because it was a pile of shit. Like, it was just a really bad monologue. I, I watched, like, eight minutes of it. It was just really cringe. What was your favorite JJK fight? Sukuna Maharaga. Fire. Favorite Post Malone song? Fuck, that's tough. It's gotta be either Congratulations or Take What You Want. Thanks, Resub Favy. I hear about the Night Marcher Demon spotted in Hawaii. Night Marcher Demon. Runner encounters Night Marcher Demon during 100 mile race in the Hawaii rainforest. I've never heard of this cryptid before. What? Yikes. Have you heard of the Anunnaki? Oh yeah, I'm very familiar with that one. Not many, Matt. Not a ton. I hope so, Alex. I'd love more Pokemon-style games. Creature Catchers. Thanks, Arisa Woody. Since Game Freak can't do a good job of it. Oh, sweet. Well, thanks, Matt. Hope you feel better soon. How fucked is your right ear from wearing one Apple earbud for 12 years? I don't know. I don't think it's fucked. Oh, yeah, the tunnels in New York stuff. Yeah, I read about that the other day. So I've heard purge. I don't know, I just don't really like headphones all that much. There's a couple that I do like, like I use them for music, but just for this, I'd rather not. And no, I haven't started solo leveling yet. Oh, thanks, Deanne. You see Ronnie Radke beefing with death metal band on Twitter today. Whole thing was hilarious. Ronnie Radke's always fighting on Twitter. I see him getting a beef with legitimately every artist ever on Twitter. Thanks for your sub top five. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the bits game. Not sure what the next topic will be game. Maybe the Epstein stuff. Thanks to Primaric. And I've heard good things about Golden Kamui. Thank you for that, Toto. Thanks for your sub play goo.
I don't know about that, Ezekiel, but maybe. Thanks for the membership, Lasagna, and the Prime Doom. Next game mill game. Let's see. What's game mill got on the horizon? They're usually pumping out stinkers. What's their next one? Uh, where's upcoming? These are just all their current games. Maybe news? Nope. I don't know. Thanks to the resub, Fergie. Someone mentioned that in chat earlier, Lucas, but I didn't watch the Bulls game, so I didn't see. Thanks to resub, Sprice. Oh yeah, of course I've heard of that, Lambda. I'm not sure yet, Aaliyah. I think the next game that comes out is Yakuza, then Tekken. Thanks for your DJ. Thanks the resub hope. Don't they come out on the same day? No, Yakuza comes out a few days prior, I think. Not mentioning Power World. When is Power World? Let me look. Oh, Power World is in f uh, six days. So yeah, Power World first. That's the Pokemon with guns game. So yeah, Pal World first. Thanks for the big drop, Robert, the Prime Diamond. That sounds like a very interesting rabbit hole, Robert. I'm definitely going to have to check that out. And I'm not sure, CJ. Thanks, Risa Lucy. And no idea, Ezekiel. Looks terrible, I can't wait. Yep, I think it'll be really shit but in a fun way. You see the British parrot that escaped the zoo by hitching a ride. No, let me see. Rainbow lorikeet escapes Colchester Zoo. Is this the criminal still at large? And I have not, Matt. I've not even heard of that game. I always feel like animals could easily escape their enclosures at the zoo. Like, there's so few things separating them from the guests. Like, I'm always shocked they don't just leave more often. Have you heard of or tried the game Soma? Yeah, I didn't really like Soma that much, though. Thanks, Barcane. What do you mean by that, Focus? I don't know which channels you're talking about. Thanks, the Resub Wizard. Hopefully, Alexa, I'd love for it to be good. You're going to play GTA 6 with the homies? Oh, for sure. I'm going to beat the campaign first, and then, yeah. Thanks for some gothic and grok. Thanks for the membership, Blaine. Thanks, Jacket. Hope you're having a good night. I've been playing City of Heroes, yeah, on Homecoming. 
I've been grinding again. I love that game. It's still so good. You heard about Viper the Rapper got arrested for kidnapping a woman and holding her in his garage for four years. It's absolutely nuts. Yeah, we were actually talking about it today. Apparently, they also have, they also found a body in his house. I, I didn't look into that, but I did see that headline. And I forgot just how crazy his song titles are. We were going through, like, his song catalog. For those that don't know, Viper the Rapper became famous because he's released more music than any other artist ever. He's got, like, 2,500 albums worth of music. Like, albums. And his songs are unhinged. Like, he basically just has two songs that he just places over new beats and just releases an album like that. It's insanity. But his titles... His titles go so hard. Like, Burning Rubber on Mario Kart Wii's worst track and shit like that. His song titles are, like, actually so interesting. Yeah, like, let's go through a couple real quick. I don't know if I can pull it up on stream. I'll just read some of them to you. I invented crack with different flavorings. You can try ice cream crack or melon crack. I waited till Kissinger was 100 so I could blast him 100 times. Like, these titles are so fucking wild. All this cash somehow turned me into a tiny kitten. Discovery of North Korean crack reserves. <laughs> Lord... <laughs> Lord, may this crack give me the power and positive mindset I need to smoke all this crack. <laughs> I hadn't seen that one before. That's a fire name. Step on a crack and I'll sell your mama's crack. How to get blue alien bitches. God, these like the titles are so fucking good. But he he is a he is a very bad man, clearly. Just arrested on kidnapping and apparently body found in his in his house. Actually unhinged, so it's not even surprising to hear that, but very sad. Let's read some Maddie. Let's read some Ethan. On the day he got arrested, a song was literally posted called You'll never find out I had someone locked in my garage for five years. No shot. That sounds like a meme. Thanks to the resub, Erdbeck. The guy who runs his YouTube and all his music shit made that? It wasn't Viper. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think... Like, I feel like this isn't run by him. I feel like people just upload his shit onto YouTube. Like, I feel like there's no way he's the one making these titles. Because he looks way too fucked up to come up with, like, <laughs> wild titles like this. He's the prime freak. Yeah, and I'm just going through Viper song titles again. I was doing this earlier. There's like 6,000-something songs you can go through for this fucking guy because he's released so much music. Thanks to Tier 1 Froggy. Is that a story load? It's run by a team of fans who work with him directly. He basically sends them green screen videos of his singing and they just fuck around with it. Really? Is that the story? He probably has no idea <laughs> that he has 2,500 albums. Let 
Thanks for the resub, sweetie. Thanks for the resub, toaster. I think it's just music videos. No, there's no way. Cause like half of this, half of this shit on here, is just the same song over something else. So like one of them here, like one of the newer ones, where was it? It was the saw one. I'm giving you 30 seconds to either smoke crack or saw your leg off, otherwise you'll die a coward. Like that song is just the you'll cowards don't even smoke crack song, but with the saw music in the background, just playing uninterrupted and unchanged. He's a resub nerd. So I feel like he's not the one doing that. If the, if it is like managed by a team, I feel like it's probably all of them. And yeah, we talked about that at the beginning, Pickle. God, these titles are so fucking crazy. <laughs> I've got to stop, but I can't. It just goes on and on and on. Ban from the arcade for smoking crack on the DDR machine. You play Monster Hunter? I've never gotten super into Monster Hunter, to be honest. It's fun, but I just never get deep into it. Oh, another banger was... um. I stopped the train by putting glue on the tracks and simply climbing aboard was another one of his tracks. That was off his most recent album. I think it was track 15. Thanks to the membership. Regular. Not at the moment, regular. You ever been to anime competi or anime conventions? I've been to two of them, actually. Megacon and whichever one comes to Tampa. What did it smell like? It smelled totally normal. I don't have anything wacky to report on it. At Megacon is where I bought that Watto statue I used to have. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is a good turn-based game. That seems like it would kind of defeat the purpose of what makes Monster Hunter so fun. Did you finish Ultra Kill? I did not. Good game though, I just didn't finish it. Thanks to the membership naps. You gonna be playing JJK Curse Clash? Yeah, I'm just not expecting anything. It's just another standard generic by the numbers anime arena fighter. I, I I think this is just going to be super fucking lame, but I'll try it. I always do. And I'm always disappointed. Thanks to the resub Preet. And the bits Teddy.
Are anime games ever good? There's some that are, like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Don't forget that one JoJo game. Which one? I don't know which one you're talking about. The one I played wasn't very good. The multiplayer was not great. Eyes of Heaven? Is that the one I played or no? When are you coming to Australia? When Pangea happens again and all the continents come together, I'll drive over. Till then, probably not happening. Thanks, the membership lemon. You progressed in One Piece lately? Nope. Still Fishman Island. I hope you enjoyed it, WAP. Did you hear about the woman winning world's ugliest lawn? Let's see. This lawn has been named the ugliest in the world, but it's all for a good cause. How is this the ugliest lawn in the world? I see this shit just driving through Tampa daily. Thanks, Resub Pulse. Nothing special here. Underwhelmed. I've heard of it, I haven't played it before though, yeah. And yeah, we went over the new D.B. Cooper evidence. And yeah, I saw about cooking with Lynn, that's awful. What acting role are you applying for? I can't tell you, because it'd probably lower my chances of actually getting it. But I, I'm dusting it off. We'll see if I land it. I'm gonna put my best foot forward. They'll get my perfect performance. It's for voicing the new Mario. That'd be fire. You hear that scientists found lights on planet on a planet seven tr seven trip miles away? Do you mean seven trillion? Seven trip miles away. I heard about the light stuff. We went over that on stream, but I don't think it was seven trip miles, whatever that is. I'm not sure yet, Polymath. I might. I have no idea what that means, Carolyn. I couldn't even begin to guess what that style of McDonald's order would be. And I've been enjoying Thousand Year Blood War for Bleach. And yeah, we talked about the little Nas X stuff. They found your mom seven trillion miles deep in a box of Oreos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fire. Do you think MAPPA animator conditions will ever be better? I can only pray. I, 
I'm not optimistic, but I really hope they improve it. And yeah, we went over all the Miami stuff with the aliens. I, I have a video on the second channel going over it. I figured, Hunter. I, I thought that's what you meant. See the video of the mouse cleaning the man's shed? Oh yeah, I forgot to look that up. That seems nice of him. Thanks, Jerry. He's a prime brain. So why is he doing it? He just doesn't like a mess? I imagine it's got to be trained, right? Like, there's no way it's just a random mouse. And happy birthday, Connor. You hear about the Oreo conspiracy? What's the conspiracy? That they put some kind of addicting drug in there? Because I believe it. That's like my main fucking weakness when it comes to junk food these days. So what's the conspiracy? Thanks to Resub Toto and the Prime Weed and the Resub Barnacle. Appreciate Obsidian and don't worry, I don't plan on it. They actually do put addicting stuff in there. Well, I, I mean like an actual hard drug. I don't think they're actually doing... But did you guys know cheese is actually addicting? Like, actually addicting? Which is why cheese is so hard to stop eating once you start? No, it's not exclusive to just cheese, but there's a few, few, a few foods like that. Thanks, Devin. Thanks to tier one. Tiberian. Happy chemicals in the brain. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what it is. Let me see. There's something about triggering the same receptors in your brain as something like heroin to a lesser degree, obviously. It's been a while since I looked up this study. Study reveals that cheese triggers the same part of the brain as many drugs. It's from 2015. Thought it was more recent than that. New research argues that cheese is addictive in, in a way similar to drugs because of a chemical called casein, which is found in dairy products and can trigger the brain's opioid receptors. And that's the gist of the abstract. That'd be fire, Geese. Would love to play Dave Grohl. Isn't casein in milk as well? Yeah, it's in pretty much anything dairy. I remember when... I don't know if this is still an accepted thing for bodybuilding, but I remember about eight or, eight or nine years ago probably now, one of the big things in the bodybuilding community was to make sure that you eat at least one serving of cottage cheese before bed so that way your body doesn't like produce a lot of cortisol while you're sleeping and ruin your gains. I don't know if that's still popular or a commonly held belief, but I remember it was big a while back. Here's Reese of Julius and the Prime Lovitz. And Two Dragon Swords was my favorite Rios. You heard of I have you heard Ice Spice's new song? I haven't, but Aaron dropped a line from it, I think, where it was like, You think you're the shit, but you're not even a fart. And I thought that line went so hard. I don't know how it's used in the song, but on its own, 
Oh my goodness, that slaps. Thanks, Thomas, for the 10. Do you think there's any chance Madam Web will be at least decent? Well, with marketing material like this, <laughs> I'd say there's a 0% chance. Let me pull this up for you. I'm sure you guys saw this on Twitter today. Where is it? Here it is. While my character in the movie may be able to see the future, a prime dark. I also can. And I know what the future brings. I know that when you see Madam Web, you're going to love it. In fact, mm. I think you're going to see it twice. <gasps> so, I think the movie's guaranteed to be a flop. I'm going to pee real quick. Give me two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Do you think Sony's Spider-Man MCU has any potential? No. Hold on, you just reminded me of one thing though. Thanks, Resub Chief. Sorry, Obsidian, I tried. Binge is probably my favorite Kaiser in 185. Long John Silver tier list. So that's actually something we were kicking around as an idea, but legitimately doing a Long John Silver's tier list, like trying all their food, would probably result in Matt or I being in the hospital in intensive care. I don't think there's a single... Th like Long John Silver's fan in the world. I don't think it exists. Right now, in chat, is there anyone here that eats at Long John Silver's? Start there. Not even do you like it. Do you eat there ever? Overwhelmingly no, with a couple of liars sprinkled in there about eating there often. I know you're lying. I pre I I feel like Long John Silver's is probably some kind of money laundering front to some degree. I don't think it started that way, but I think it's become that. Because I don't know how they're still in business. Every Long John Silver's I've passed for the last decade at least has been completely dilapidated in shambles. And yet somehow it's still here. And nobody eats there. 
Thanks to the membership, Poe. I ate there once and almost puked. Which is exactly what I'm saying. Like, I feel like if we did the Long John Silver's tier list, it would end in some kind of catastrophic illness. And yeah, I, I heard Lemon. It's very sad. Yeah, I'm actually going to look it up. How popular is Long John Silver? Today, Long John Silver's owns and operates and franchises nearly 700 restaurants located across 38 U.S. states in Singapore, generating annual system-wide sales of 413 million. Propaganda. I don't. I just don't believe it. Who's eating it? Like I think I've only ever had it once in my life when I was a kid because Joe's Crab Shack was closed. And I can vaguely remember my parents begrudgingly, begrudgingly taking me to Long John Silver for, like, popcorn shrimp or something. But I don't even know if that's a real memory or some kind of, like, fake planted one in my brain. Have you not had their hush puppies? No, of course I haven't had their hush puppies. They're lying, that's what I think. You're just hating on LGS because it's fun. I don't think it's bad. Have some fucking shame, Glibby. Did you just actually drop an abbreviation for Long John Silver and get it wrong? LGS? It'd be LJS. And nobody's abbreviating Long John Silvers. They don't have fans. Nobody's doing that. That's how I know you're lying. You didn't even get the fucking imaginary abbreviation correct. Thanks to the resub Rin. But yeah, no, I don't think we'll be doing a Long John Silver tier list. It's it, like it feels it feels dangerous. I watched that, not to get like morbid or, or like really sad. I watched that video that went viral a little while ago about the woman who ate bad tilapia and had all of her limbs amputated because of the infection or whatever she contracted from it. I feel like that is absolutely a high likelihood at fucking Long John Silvers. Thanks to tier one, Josh. I haven't seen any updates on the Streaker Chaos. It's been a while. Long John Silver, Hush Puppies are S tier. Outside of that, it's dog food. He's a tier one Long John Silver CEO. How long have you had that account? You just made it. Yeah, you created two minutes ago. Don't even try and like gaslight me into thinking there's real Long John Silver fans. Thanks to Resub Swift. I can see when you made the account. Scoundrel. The one in my town burned down shit's whack. <laughs> uh. Thanks to the membership obsidian. That's possible, Body Farm, yeah. Thanks to the membership, Dylan. I am an LJS enjoyer. No, what you are is a goddamn liar. Stop. Just stop. I know you're not. I'm going to look up their menu real quick, actually. I, I haven't checked their menu since we were ideating on doing a Long John Silver tier list. Thanks for some hypo. Plus, Matt is already, like, pretty irpy around seafood because he got such bad food poisoning that it's ruined seafood for him. So I think this would put him in the grave if we did a Long John Silver's tier list. Man, I love this. I go to their... <laughs> this website couldn't be more sad. I go to their website and I scroll down to go to their menu. And on the <laughs> and on their promotions, there's one item. Cheese bites. It's the only thing they seem to be proud of. <laughs> they have this whole promotion section, but there's one thing for cheese bites. Nothing else. Thanks to the resub Arisen. Just eat the hush puppies. Fuck no, they're probably cross-contaminated with all of their other food. Alright, let's see what else they got. Clam strips. That actually sounds nice. If it was anywhere but Long John Silver. Oh, they do chicken. I've never seen chicken that looks like this, per se. It looks... 
This is absolutely lunch chicken, like cafeteria chicken. The mystery meat, yeah. It's not a very large menu. That, that's good. I'm glad they didn't make like a massive menu like Cheesecake Factory for this. And no, I don't know who you're talking about, Matt Man. And yeah, we talked about it, JJ, at the beginning. My dad's friend who was like 70 years old loved it. It's all right. I've got no explanation for that other than he tricked his taste buds into liking it at some point across his 70 years. LJS review win. I'm a f I, I'm I'm not memeing. I'm actually a fucking afraid to eat it. Long John Silver. I'd eat their their chicken, but that defeat the purpose because they're a seafood place. But I'm I, I would be terrified to eat this. I just feel like it's dangerous. <laughs> This is like the idea I had a while ago to do a gas station food tier list and just try like the most revolting old gas station food that just exists in those fucking hot dog spinners forever and never gets changed out. And then we watched that chubby emu video on botulism contracted from gas station nachos and I, I canned that idea ASAP. Immediately I put that one on the on the shelf. Thanks to Prime Milano. They used to have snow crab at LJS. Interesting. I'm in Boston. In the area we have... Jesus, I don't know why I just struggled to read all that. We have Taco Bell, Long John Silver can join restaurants. LJS is always empty. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I fucking believe that. 100%. And true panned. Do you think Night Swim will remain top five worst movie of 2024? I do. I really think it will. And yeah, I definitely need to look into that, Benjamin. I talked about it on the podcast a little bit. So I've seen a little bit of the localizer drama, but I don't know a ton about it. I'd have to look more into it. Surprise you eat seafood, you're picky. I'm really not picky. I can I literally eat anything. I will actually eat anything. There's foods I obviously like more than others, but when it comes to Long John Silvers, I actually feel like I am risking life and limb for it. Like it feels like I'm gambling on my health. My parents met working together at Long John Silver. Probably because there was nothing else to do. <laughs> like, there's no customers. They'll just hang out, talk to each other, fall in love. Bond. That makes sense. Thanks to Prime Sudany. I live on the shoreline in Connecticut. We have a very good seafood place called Linny and Joe's. Other than that, there's always Red Lobster. I mean, yeah, there's anywhere besides LJS. I can't believe I'm actually using the abbreviation. <laughs> I've been, I've been manipulated into using it now. The way you describe Long John Silver makes it sound like they catch fish from the septic tank. They fuck, I, like they probably do. I have never seen an LJS that's in good condition. Maybe it's a Florida thing, I don't know. Every LJS I have ever seen in my life looks like a house in Minecraft that got hit by TNT. Like there's no way it's like it's safe to consume. <laughs> like maybe it's, again, it could be a Florida thing perhaps, I don't know. God damn it, now, now I'm tricking myself into, like, wanting to take the risk and trying it. Ugh. But I actually, it just feels so not worth the risk. And I have not seen the time skip yet, Wes, but I've read about it. <coughs> hey, hope you're doing well, Train. Hope It's been a while. Hope things are going well. Last time my dad ate Long John Silver over a decade ago, it forced him to get gallbladder surgery. <laughs> 
His body just started shutting down? Like, what do you mean? What did he get? He got that goddamn salmon, didn't he? I saw it on their menu. And th there was something very fishy... Well, not to make a pun. There was something very uh, perturbing about that salmon. Thanks to Prime Linku and the Tier 1 nerf. The food is dog food, but root beer is peak. Also, the one near my house burnt down and rebuilt. God, it's like Hydra. Thanks to the Prime Badger. Why are we even talking about this? I forgot why this came up. Oh yeah, someone recommended a Long John Silver's tier list, and that's something that has been like an... Like something we've been ideating on at the, the headquarters for a while, but just are afraid to do. Because it's so gross. <laughs> Basically, the reason why Long John Silver is still up is because it's owned by Yum Food Corp, and they own Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, KFC, so they have them all to have a diverse food, a diverse fast food company to sum up, and they keep it open so people have more options of food from them. Mm. Thanks, Prime Little Caesar, and the membership Joseph, the resub Tingle. Yeah, I believe that. I'm sure LJS saved your brother. Do you think it's actually worse than Burger King? It's... So it's it's not fair. Because I hate Burger King because I eat it and it always sucks shit. I haven't eaten Long John Silver's because I'm afraid of it. It's like the boogeyman of fast food to me. In my head, it's like the worst thing you can eat. But I haven't actually eaten it to compare it to Burger King. I've got to do it just once, I think. <laughs> I think I've got to. Just have a nurse on standby. I think what I'll probably do is get a medical professional ready. I think that's a good idea. Maybe with some kind of, like... What, what is it when you need to suck something out? It's not the endoscopy because that goes in. How do you flush a tummy? There's definitely an operation for it. Thanks, membership, Sam. Oh, yeah, I heard they're adding Alan Wake to Dead by Daylight. Is it just a stomach pump? Maybe that is. I thought it had, like, an actual name for it. He probably would, sorry, yeah. He's a prime B-Walls. Check out their big catch meal. It's absolutely revolting. It's so bad, health groups called it the worst meal in America and said that it's basically a heart attack on a hook. <laughs> I love the name Big Catch. Okay. LJS Big Catch, huh? Long John... This was in 2013. So this is when people still accidentally ate there. Oh my god, this looks awful! Long John Silver's Big Catch is worst restaurant meal in America, says CSPI. I don't know what this is. I don't I don't know that organization. That sounds like some kind of, like, shadow group that works behind the scenes in the food industry. This looks awful! Three ounces trans fat drenched batter, 4.5 ounce fish... Lab test find 33 grams of trans fat in the meal of fried fish, onion rings, and hush puppies. And then announced that it'll discontinue the big catch. <laughs> oh no. Damn you. Look what they've taken from us. Not even the big catch was safe. Oh, it sounds awful, Obsidian. I don't think we could do that. Cheese stick tier list actually is kind of fire. That's not a bad idea. God damn. I can't even be surprised. Maybe they did like a drastic overhaul of their menu. Because th this isn't on there. It was very simple stuff. Granted, they didn't look great, but it, it did seem very simple. Oh, 
just look at that. It's, 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 uh, like, that's, why would you even pay for that? Grand Slam in the Canyon Man. Appreciate the 10. I don't know what that means, but sure. It's piss yellow. It's like actual mustard hue. Like, how do you even fry something that ends up looking that way? I think these are the hush puppies up here. Those look fine. Maybe they're like cheese curds. I, don't, I can't tell. I think that's the hush puppies, though. But this looks horrible. Is there any other fast food chain or food chain that scares you as much as LJS? No. There is no other restaurant that scares me as much as Long John Silver's. When I was in college... We used to go to a Chinese restaurant that was a little ways away from the campus. Not too far, but like a 10-minute drive. And the building had bullet holes in its windows and ants on the ceiling. And that food slapped. And I was not afraid to eat any of that. But I am afraid to eat at LJS. This is like the only restaurant that I'm actually frightened of. It's called the big catch because the amount of diseases you'd catch eating it. Yeah. I love this sentence. Today the CSBI formally notified Long John Silver's CEO Mike Kern that the chain will be sued if it continues to use partially hydrogenated oil in its deep fryers. And if it continues to mis misrepresent both the amount of fish in the meal and nutrition information for the side items. Yeah, we was just talking about Power World. I'll play that when it comes out in five days or whatever it was. Yeah, it sounds about right, Arrow. Long John Silver's is one of the very few reasons why I don't eat seafood to this day. I had it as a child in California, and I had it as a teenager in Florida. I won't be eating it as an adult. It sounds like a punishment. Like, eat your vegetables, or your next meal will be at Long John Silver's. The kid just fucking starts housing it. No, not there. Please. We don't have LJS in Canada, so I once drove over two hours to cross the border to eat it. You're a liar. No one would do that. And that's what I believe, Thomas. A White Castle tierless would be so much safer. My dad loves White Castle. So I, I'm very familiar with White Castle. What are they using? Plastic fish? No, I'd probably be healthier if they were using plastic fish, though. Again, this was 2013, so maybe they're in a much better place now. But even still, I'm fucking afraid of it. Yeah, we went over the new D.B. Cooper evidence, like, a week ago. Didn't you say you'd have Jackson over for the Long John Silver's tier list? No, I don't think I ever said that. This is something that we've only been talking about for like the last couple weeks. How about a, chi how about a Chili's tier list? I don't know if I've said this before, but I'll say it now. I say this like to my friends. I think Chili's is like the best food you can get if you're aiming for that ballpark of quality. So I put Chili's in the same tier as like all the other ones like Applebee's and all that. Chili's blows them out of the water. Chili's is so far above the competition in that genre, it's not even fair. Like why would you ever go somewhere that's not Chili's if it's an option? If that's like where the tier you're trying to stay in. Their shit slaps. Thanks to Prime Matt. No tips, Nick, but choose something that you really enjoy, and I'm wishing you the best with it. Would you consider a make your own gas station ice cream tier list? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Thanks to Prime Grozerk.
Long John Silver doesn't even want you eating there. When's the last time you saw a Long John Silver commercial? Great question. Do they even advertise anymore? Let's see. What is their most recent commercial? Here's one from 2019. It's their Long John Silver's $10 shareable. It's a 15 second ad. Oh, also the comments from six months ago. I saw a video claiming nobody goes to Long John Silver's and it's mainly a money laundering operation. I've never been. Here's a Long John Silver's commercial from 2021. Is their slogan fish yeah? It is. Long John Silver fish yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they definitely don't aggressively market themselves. For good reason. The less people that go to their establishments, the less chance of a lawsuit from, like, an inadvertent foodborne death. Thanks for the five gift subs, Shrek. And thank you for that, Nessie. True, John. What a deal. And that would be fun, Angel. We talked about doing that. If you search Long John Silver's Fire on Google, you're greeted with dozens of separate LJS locations that have randomly burnt down. Well, there's also just so many of them that I imagine just pure numbers game that's bound to happen. Like, I bet McDonald's probably has the same phenomenon and Burger King and all that. I don't think it's exclusive to just LJS. Oh, one burnt down a month ago. Fire trucks responded this morning to a fire at the Long John Silvers on Williams Boulevard in Cedar Rapids. A battalion chief told our TV9 crew at the scene that firefighters were called because of a greased fire. The city says the fire was quickly put out, but not before it caused fire, smoke, and water damage. The Luckily, nobody was inside. All right. So that was a month ago, so it looks like this shit's burning down all the time. I feel bad for LJS, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, they're still doing 400 million annually somehow. I don't think you need to feel that bad for them. God, there's so many Long John Silver fires here, right? Holy shit. Oh, that's not a bad idea, Obsidian. That's kind of fun. Lady who scammed people for 350k got ousted for scamming again. She was on Sunny V2 and he hasn't covered it again. Who? Which one? He's covered a lot of scammers. Which lady? And yeah, we talked about the Verbal Ace 50k animation. Fucking pathetic. And yeah, I've seen. I haven't finished Blue Lock, but I've seen episodes here and there. It's good. Look up the Long John Silver franchise cost. God, why? Is it like extremely expensive or extremely cheap? How much does Long John Silver's franchise cost? They have a franchise fee of 20k with a total investment of a uh, total investment range of 109 to 1 1.6 million. I don't know enough about franchising a restaurant. Is that super high or super low? It's low as fuck, is it?
Have you seen the trailer for Final Fantasy XIV Down Trail? No, is that their newest expansion coming out? Wasn't that fake, Heem? That tweet? I know about the, the tunnel stuff, but I think that tweet was fake. Lots on the new Aquaman. I put it on my top five worst movies of the year list. I think it sucks. I think it's absolutely fucking horrible. Unbearably boring. Have you seen Napoleon already? I did not watch it. Will we ever see a tier list? Of, no, probably not of that potato. I don't even know how we'd show that. That wouldn't be allowed. We need an Epstein flight log tier list, celebrity tier list. I don't know about that, but for the next red thread, we're going to be doing the Epstein thing, I think. Going through it. Thanks to Resub Soul. I've never even seen a Captain D's, so I don't know anything about it. Dawn Trail introduces a Viper class slash, slash assassin and a Pictomancer, which uses a paintbrush and paint to attack. That sounds really cool, actually. Captain D's is very similar. I imagine if he's asking like which you'd prefer or if it's worse. But I just don't know anything about it. We were going to do that concerts, but since you make your own sub, it'd be kind of worthless. Thanks, Balsamic. She's running multiple fake accounts claiming her cats have cancer. The one you should search up is Macaulay the Cat. Thanks to Tim Andrew. Macaulay the Cat. Um, I just see the Instagram account. <clears throat> Where can I find information on it being a scam? Yeah, I don't see any information on that. I've got no advice for you, Andrew, but I'm wishing you the best. It'll get easier with time. What do you think Aquaman could have done better? I uh, I don't know. Start over. Because what they did for the second one just, I thought, was terrible. <laughs> like, I don't think there was anything good in it, really. I'd say just go back to the drawing board. I don't even know what I would have done to try and fix that movie. I, I just would have taken it from the ground up. You ever see Jupiter Ascending? Easily the best bad movie ever made. I started that movie with my parents and they hated it so much they turned it off. I was enjoying it as a shitty, like a shitty bad movie, like a shitty fun bad movie. They just thought it was miserable. So I still never finished it. Thanks for the anonymous gift sub. Hey, sleep well too, Tim. You ever had Fazoli's? Chelsea tried to convince us that Fazoli's was amazing. One of them opened in Tampa not too long ago, like a year ago, and it already closed within a year. But it's fast food Italian, right? 
So I still never got to try it. It was only open for such a small period of time. Here's the Prime Asimov. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks, Isaiah, and welcome. Fazoli's is like microwave Italian. Yeah, I don't know how you do fast food Italian well. That seems like an incredibly difficult combination to get high quality food from. Thanks for the gift sub, Edgar. Playing new games lately. I just finished Lies of P, which I thought was amazing. And I don't know if I'm going to see Beekeeper or not yet. Thanks to the resub shrink. The Liza P DLC is coming soon. Perfect timing then. It's great timing. <clears throat> oh, thanks to the tier one Harshmallow. Yeah, of course I'll speedrun more. I don't know what next, but I will, of course, be speedrunning more. And I'm excited for the Elden Ring DLC as well. I don't know what build I'll go with. Fazoli kind of like LJS of Italian. I believe it. Thanks to the Prime. Montique. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, we already went over the Verbal Ace 50k animation. It's very pathetic and weird and 50k to not even get boobies in it can't believe it has to be a stunt I don't know it's an expensive stunt Thanks for the recent violence. I'm hey, glad you like the new song. I appreciate that. Have a great night, Anastasia. I think I'm going to head out as well now, too. I'm getting kind of tired. I got up early today. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, tomorrow, maybe bad game night. We'll see. If not tomorrow, then Sunday. I've got an itch for some bad games now since I played such a good one. Alright, have a good night. Appreciate the generosity. I will see you all either tomorrow or Sunday. Sleep well, everyone. See you soon.